You're right, everyone. It's Adria from Romany Custom Catapults. So, I've got a little TTF Micro Raptor to show you all here. Uh, first of all, I'll hold my hands up to a bit of a mistake. Um, I originally cut this design out for an order. I cut the, the carbon fire backplate out. Uh, and when I'd done it, I realised that I was supposed to do TTF. Now, the reason why I made this mistake is, well, for starters, I never read my notes correctly. It was all written there, black and white for me, or whatever colour it is on Apple Notes. And uh, it's mainly because I associate a Utah Raptor, which is what you see before you, as a TTF build. I mean, I always think pinch grip suits TTF better than brace grip does. That's the whole reason I made the pinch grip frame in the first place. But either way, it's a TTF Utah Raptor. Uh, I changed it a little bit from the original order. And now the original order has changed a little bit as well. So neither this build or the build that's going to the customer are going to look anything like the original order. So, but he's happy. I'm happy. They're going to be better. Do you know what I mean? This is better than it originally was supposed to be. And so is the one that's going to be for him. The one that I'm building for him is going to be better than this. But there you go. Anyway, let's get into it. Right. The build itself is a five layer build consisting of a carbon fiber back. As you can see in my new photography box, it looks pretty cool. Then we've got two layers of four mil tough knot, a half a mil layer of black G10 and a white split face. And I've used the carbon fiber on its side for the split. You know me, I'm not afraid of close-ups. Now, I didn't drill the pins all the way through. Reason being for that is I think with this stripe and then a pin there and a pin there, it would have looked overly fussy. It would have looked awkward. I mean, I've done it before on other builds, but for this particular build, it just struck me as a no-no. So I pull, uh, drilled the pins three-quarter of the way through. As you can see, there's pins there at the top. Just the two. There was no need for a centre one. But I'm really happy with it. It's come out really well. About 14 and a half mil overall thickness. Always get away with a bit thicker Utah than Velociraptor because uh, pinch grip suits are a little bit thicker. It's 85 mil on the outer width, 24 mil tips, and she is a right hand hold. Be interesting to know what uh, you thought on this colour combination. I could have gone with a different colour on the front, and I was going to, but I spoke to a friend of mine, and he suggested white, and I went with his suggestion. So it was the right thing to do. I think it looks funky fresh. All the colours tie in nicely. Yeah. Really happy with it. Really, really happy with it. Slanted tips. Optics bang in the middle where it should be. Uh reason why I've slanted the tips on it is someone pointed out the other day. I was going to do slanted tips anyway, but someone pointed out a while back he's got a flat tip build off of me and he wants me to slant the tips because he said any type of little angle you're getting a speed bump where it's pulling over the bump. Whereas with slanted tips you can get away with a bit of a tilt back and forth, which makes a lot of sense to be honest with you. In fact, I would go as far to say as Slanted tips are far more important on a TTF build than on an OTT build. I'll give you a good look around it so you get the drift. This build's actually going up for sale. Uh, I'll try and get this video uploaded today so it will be for sale when I upload the video. No, knowing me, I'll put it up for sale. It'll sell. By the time I put the YouTube video out, it will already be sold. But I'll try and get this video up today. Uh, today being, I believe it's the 19th today, 19th of January. But yeah, really, really happy with it. Like I say, 85mm outer width, 24mm tips, right hand hold, adolescent in size, Utah Raptor. That's a lot of fucking stuff to talk about for a catapult. 14 and a half mil overall thickness, five layer build consisting of carbon, G10, and tough knob. Really like it. It's a really cool build. Little key ring. I must 
sand down the edges of the press that I'm using. Stop them little corners. I don't know, they kind of look kind of cool. They focus the badge in, but I don't know. This leather is supposed to be, it's veg tan. You dye it any colour you want, but obviously I ain't got the time to start dyeing key rings and messing about. I suppose someone else could. So there you have it. Another build out of the way. Many, many more to come. I hope you all have a cracking day. Cheers all and thanks for watching.